Hi folks, today we are making some custom t-shirts for a darts team. Keep watching. Right, well I've had a request again cut that's come from Facebook and also one of the subscribers to my uh, videos and he sent me a private message asking me to create some um, individual t-shirts or polo shirts for a local darts team which he's a member of. So what we've basically done was had a conversation on Facebook and asked if we could do a certain shirt with a certain type of design and could I send him a mock-up of the design and also a set of the colours. He wanted bright colours basically. So uh, let's go over to the computer, I'll show you what I actually done and what I sent him. So uh, here we are on my Facebook Messenger page and basically what I'd done there, he, 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 had, he, t he told me what he wanted and I just mocked up these images in Photoshop and what he was looking for was the team name across the front of the shirt, uh, a little dartboard breast logo there as you can probably see and also on the back the uh, nickname of the person with their actual number. Now there was nine people in the team and uh, they all wanted their own different colour shirt but basically with the same graphics, the only thing that would change would be the name of the person and also the number on the back. So I just mocked this up in uh, Photoshop there and then I sent him a list of the colors which he wanted. If I scroll down the page, I showed him a list of the colors of the t-shirts, as you can see, all bright colors. And once he'd okayed the colors and the design, I basically sent him a payment link uh, created in PayPal. We had a little chat after that and then he paid. So basically what we're doing is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine t-shirts there or polo shirts in those various colors. And if we come over to the box here, you can actually see we've ordered them in as a, a, a special one-off. So these are all the colors exactly as they appear in the message that I sent him. And what we're going to do is to print the graphics. I've got a list of all the names of the uh, darts players I've done a little mock-up, I'll show you in a second. These are, as I say, all the colours which we had there. They're definitely going to be a bright darts team, there's no two ways about it. I've started on the graphics already, and here, as you can see, are the little dartboard logos, which you can see there, which I've actually printed out already. Now, the, the darts on the sleeve, I've actually put their name, the team's name, on the actual darts as well, so I'm hoping he's going to enjoy that little change as well. So there's that, all I've got to do now is to print off the other graphics, which is the vinyl. This is made of uh, the transfer paper, and once we've applied these, the, the, that means that the garment can be washed at uh, 40 degrees C and below, not above. So if you're watching this, Mark, don't forget to tell your team members that don't go putting these on a hot wash. So these are for 40 degrees or below washing, in other words, cool wash. So I'm just going to go over to the Silhouette Cameo now and I'm going to cut out all the vinyl. So I'll put you on time lapse for some of that, you haven't got to see all that, you've seen me do that in plenty of other videos. And then we'll press the t-shirts, get the graphics on them, and a presto, a whole dark scene will be catered for. See you shortly.
okay then, that's all the graphics done now. I'll, sh I'll just show you them. As you can see, quite a few graphics there. That's nothing to do with the t-shirt transfers, which we've also got as well, which as you probably know, I've got them sitting over there. Now I've got two presses I'm gonna use for this. I'm gonna use the hat press, and I'm also going to use my standard Galaxy 16x20 auto slide press to put the main vinyls on. So this is gonna do the main vinyls. This is going to do the transfer papers because they're only small. So something like this is ideal for something like that, you know, for just a uh, little logo. So you see, we've got the heat plate there, which is, I know it's curved, it doesn't matter. The sleeve will go in there lovely and also the breast logo will go in there lovely. So whilst I'm going to be waiting for these to heat up, I'm gonna be pressing all the shirts, getting all the moisture out of them. And one thing I will say as well, if you've got trouble with transfers attaching to the garment, let's say for example, for the hat press, the hat press I don't use very often. And what can happen is that a press can retain moisture in the actual sponge pad on the, uh, the bottom of the planter. And exactly the same with the main heat press as well. So if you haven't used it for a while, and then you go to press your first one, you could have pr problems with it sticking or it could bleed the transfer paper as well. That's another thing that can happen. And that could be because there's moisture in this actual uh, rubber seal. So all you've got to do is literally bung it on for a few times just to heat that up and uh, drive out any moisture that's in the actual plate as well. Exactly the same with the main heat press. I know I've got the um, protecting sheet on there as well, but a lot of people don't have them. So again, if you're dealing with a cold press, heat it up a few times, put it on for a, a, like a couple of runs just to drive any moisture out, and that may also be a problem, might be stopping your garments or your, your, your graphics from sticking to your t-shirts with your first presses and all. Another thing to realize is that, um, let that come up for a minute. You probably didn't see that, but when I actually lifted, this is uh, stuck down as you can see. When I actually lifted this up, I don't know if it's gonna do it again, I'll try it. Yeah, I don't think you see the steam coming off of there. So that shows that there is moisture in there. So just something to be aware of that the, 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 the vapors or whatever you see coming off there, isn't this burning, this is uh, heat resistant, this, this uh, rubber covering. It's the actual moisture burning off. So I say, do it two or three times and hopefully you shouldn't have any problems afterwards. There we go, you can see the steam coming up. And as I was gonna say, this rubber plan turn, uh, as you can see, I've got the cover sheet on there which just helps things slide as you probably know. One other thing as well, it could be that your heat plate isn't e heating up evenly. Now, if you've got a cheap heat press, that could be an issue. You know when I've got the laser gun and I'll check the temperature or whatever. Most people, they turn it on, when it's up to temperature, they press straight away, in other words, from a, a, a cold starting press. And if you have got cold spots, that may be because you have got a cheaper uh, heat press. The element not, might not cover the whole heat press but they have probably been tested. In other words, they've got to be left on for a lot longer for the heat to radiate out towards the edges. So you might have to leave the press running for like a, a 30 or 40 minutes before the actual heat is transferred across the whole press. If you're just turning it on, waiting till it heats up, till it say it's up to temperature on the controller, you're pressing and you've got the problem where it's not sticking or around the edges are not sticking leave the press on for about another 15 to 20 minutes and try again and see if the heat does eventually radiate out towards. That's if you've got a cheaper press. Dearer presses don't have that problem. It's just something else to be aware of that could be stopping your transfers or vinyl sticking on a cold, cheap press. Anyway, I'm gonna get on pressing these now. I'll put you on time lapse for that. And uh, I'm just gonna press these t-shirts, get the moisture out and I'll see you in a minute. Right, okay then, so here we go. We've got the first t-shirt ready. This is the, uh, this is a double XL, this one. And what we're gonna end up with is, as I said to you, the breast logo there 
and the main graphic along the front there, uh, which is going to be the name of the actual team. We'll flip it over and then we'll do the number and that on the back as well. So what I'm going to do is you probably know I've done this in many of my videos. I want to find a center line and all we do there is we take the garment, hang it up by the collar, line all the lines up so that it's hanging straight as you can see there and then we'll press our center line down the middle. So I'm going to do that now like that. I'm happy with everything's lined up. There we go. All the seams are lined up fine. I'm not going to put the um, collar under, but uh, obviously I'll need the centre line, so all the collar and buttons are, are hanging down here. So I'm just going to put my line down the centre, give a quick press and that's it then for front and back, I've got the ideal location. Right, okay, so now I've got my centre line down the back and front of the garment. <clears throat> and that can allow me now to just lay that out on the counter. And what you want to do in this situation is to make sure that you put the same distance coming down from each collar where you're going to have the first piece of writing and then where you're going to place the number. Lucky enough, we've got it all in one sheet. So that was Rob the Gob, the first one there. So all I'm looking at here is coming down the center and to get my center of my graphic, just fold it in half, as you probably know, until the ends of the words line up, like that. When I open up, I've got my crease down the middle. That can go down the center, wherever you need it. And one thing to make a note of is how far down you want the top of the letters. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna drop that down to five inches, I think. So I'll come down, made a note five inches where that is. Get my center line right there. And once you've found your center line, five down from the top five inches from the top of the collar. And I'm just gonna put on some of this heat tape here, just uh, top and bottom, but the simple reason being, these top writing comes on where the buttons are. I don't wanna press it on the buttons. So what I'm going to do is to thread it onto the heat press machine with just one layer. So this is what I'm gonna do now. So this is where having a pull in and out tray is very handy, because I'm gonna pull this up now and open the shirt up. That's the reason why I stuck it on, so that I can actually thread the shirt on, as you can probably see there, and it won't move the graphic. So just put it on, and that way you're not pressing the buttons, you can see what I'm saying? So put that underneath. There we go, it hasn't moved at all. All my lines still exactly where it should be. Get me cover tray, cover plate, put it over there. And this is a hot pill product, which is 165 degrees for 20 seconds. So I'm just gonna let that do its stuff. There we go, that opens up, off with a cover sheet. And this should hopefully have done the job. And there we go. First graphic on the back, rub the gob, and we're on our way. I'm just gonna carry on now. You haven't really got to see that. I'll show you them at the end, and I'll see you a little bit further down the line. See you shortly. Right, peeps, I've been very busy. I'm down to my last T-shirt now. I've done all the back and front graphics. I've put the little dartboard breast logo there as well. And we're just gonna use the uh, cap press here to finish off the sleeves. Let me show you how I'm gonna do that. So this is the last one. As you can see, we've got the little dartboard on the uh, breast logo there. We've got the main graphic there. And if we turn it around as well, we've got the uh, the number and the, the player's name or nickname on the back there. So what we're gonna do, when you get these uh, T-shirts, you normally find that down the outside or down that line, there is a a ready-made crease down there, which is very handy for us because we're going to be putting our graphic right down the center of that actual seam there. And all I do is I open the sleeve up and I feed it over the actual plantern and just using that crease and keeping that crease in the center. So it gives me a line. And I've got that crease running straight down the center there. Let's show you. It's a bit shadowy in here at the moment because the light's going down, but I've got the crease right down the center line there. And what I'm just gonna do is just give it a quick 
a uh, quick blast just to heat up the bottom plantain as well. Lift it up and then I go over here and all I'm going to do is just lift my graphic and all I'm going to do is literally just put the pick underneath and you can see where I'm lifting that up there and then literally just hold it. These are the t-shirt transfers for dark garments and just lift it up off of that and now I'm going to take this over and all I'm going to do is literally so you've got to do this right first time you get this wrong then you've got to start again and I'm just going to lay that graphic down the center look for that center line and just let it lay and it starts to mold in as you can probably see that and I'll just tap it down in line I can't move it now because it's got to be in the right place that's why we needed our center line and that will now stay there because the bottom plan turn is hot so it's getting heat off of the bottom plan turn we get the cover sheet just throw it over the top close down that's for our 30 seconds and that might seem a little bit tricky doing that but as I say normally if you put these transfers there's no way of actually holding them transfers down so heating up the bottom plantern sort of makes them mold and melt into them but you've got to get the location right first time that's on something like a little heat press like this right here we go so we lift that up take off the cover sheet thread it off and that is our arm graphic there as you can probably see and that is a transfer as opposed to a vinyl if it was a vinyl we couldn't do all these individual colors which we've got there and uh, that would be very very tricky that's when these transfers are handy so I'm just going to do the other one now you're seeing it in real time so you get an idea of how long it takes to do this sort of thing once you work out a procedure and a system life it makes life easier for me to do these on the big heat press would have been a right nuisance so that's why having something like this lining that line up down the center doing a little pre-press that's heating the bottom plan turn as well getting the graphic off of the backing paper which is our transfer paper and then getting pre prepared ready to drop that on that line that I can see there first time I'm using the middle dart basically to to line up so I'm just going to line it on lay it down and it drops down it molds in and while it's doing that to stop it curling up I'll just tap it down with my finger like that and it's now sitting on there where I need it to be and it ain't going to move so getting the cover sheet over press for our 30 seconds so this t-shirt is a mixture of vinyls and transfer papers vinyls you can wash it uh, 60 degrees but because it's a mix with the transfer papers the transfer papers can only be washed at 40 degrees and below so that means the whole garment is a cool wash product now so they come out very well as you can see they are a great finish you don't need a photo quality printer I've got a basic inkjet printer as you probably know and uh, there we go so that's the sleeve garment as you can probably see there one on the sleeve on the front we've got the the chest team's name on the front with a little dartboard and turning around on the back we've got our player's name and a number and there we go so Sharon's just folded them all up for me put that one down there baby I'll let her do that I can't fold up There we go. And what have we got in total, baby? Nine in total? Nice, pal. Yeah, they're all there. And you come out, you've done your little bit at the last bit and taken all the credit, haven't you? I'm not taking no credit, no. <laughs> so there you go. I've been a busy boy today, and there's nine individual custom T-shirts there for a darts team. And I hope you enjoy your tops. Thanks very much. See you in the next video. And until then, bye for now.